All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, Zali Plays, and today we're going to be doing another Dragon Champions video. So, we're going to be talking about the new Halloween event and update 1.1 for Dragon Champions. So, this is going to be one of the biggest updates for the game, and they're expecting it to launch uh, the start of next week, so maybe in like three or four days, something like that. So, we're going to be talking about the new Halloween event as well. We're going to be getting Cruel. Uh, she seems to be a very, very good champion uh, looking at her kit. So before we discuss this Halloween event, we're going to be going over uh, version 1.1. So what's new in version 1.1? There's going to be uh, the first seasonal event called Pumpkin Hallow Days. And there's going to be new game mode tournaments. We have been told uh, about the tournaments in our Dev Insights channel. We did give our opinions. All of the uh, game changers for Dragon Champions have been giving their opinions and trying to make it not uh, pay to win. So the developers have, uh, so far they have listened to our suggestions as well. We told them not to make it like the old Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes tournaments where it just pits whales against whales. And yeah, they say they won't do that. So the new tournament, every day you can fight uh, with other players. The tournaments are, are uh, two to three days long and then you receive generous rewards, including skill scrolls. So yeah, skill scrolls are a bottle like the blue ones. So you're going to be able to win some of those. Uh, the news panel has been removed from the game. He said no one, <laughs> no one uses it anyways. Uh, let me see where it is right now. Hasn't been a whoops wrong game. <laughs> See, my question is, where is the news panel? Yeah, so they said they're going to remove the news panel, but I can't even find it at all. So that's probably one of the reasons why people are not using it. If you guys, I'm probably missing it right now. But if you guys see it, let me know down in the comment section. So let's get back to this. A new hero. So we talked about, I said Cruel is going to be a new hero in this game. So you can obtain her hero stones uh, from a unique event. So is it going to be a Halloween event, Pumpkin Hollow Days. Uh, there's going to be a tournament as well. That's where you can obtain her from and three to six missions in Invasion of the Demons. And they changed some hero stones drops in three and four chapters or chapters three and four uh, in Invasion of the Demons because of Cruel. So she's going to be uh, dropping from there as well as the missions, tournaments and her event. Um, added rewards for 25th guild members and guild quests and raids. Sorry about that. I did not know that. That uh, I'm not trying to brag, but <laughs> I know that uh, people who are ranked 25th did not receive any uh, rewards. So good thing they're going to fix that. Uh, now players can send messages in chat from level 7. So when you get to level 7, that's where you can start chen, um, messaging the world chat because there's too much spam. I think the level should be higher than that, personally. Maybe a uh, level 15 or something like that. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, number 8, when you, will summon a new, when you summon a new character each time, you receive an offer upgrade. So yeah, if you guys are worried about that, every time you summon a new champion, you receive a pretty good offer upgrade. I think it's like 6 blocks or something. Um, they removed all restrictions on that because it can only be right now the way that it is is that if you open one of the um, offers the other one will open if you summon the other guy so they remove those restrictions and then the players who miss the offer they're going to figure out how to return it the offer to them in the next update uh talking about the tower now enemies on 9 to 12 on the tower the floors 9 to 12 are weakened so they weakened uh they nerfed it a bit just a little bit so i guess that is good news for people unless people like the challenge so it's a good news because you are able to clear it. And once you get 150 clears, you're able to auto it. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, you guys can check out my tower guide on Rage Dragon Champions. Number 10, event chest now costs 400 drag coins. Uh, it was 500 before. I honestly, I'd rather just get a premium chest. Uh, for all players, we restored the double first purchase bonus of drag coins and added confirmation window so that you do not miss a better deal. So those, that's what's new in version 1.1. And there's also some bug fixes. Uh, they fixed the bug with completing energy quests for viewing ads. So people were complaining about the ads not working. So right when you finish watching an ad, you're not getting your energy. <laughs> They're going to fix that. So the, the fix right now is to force close the game and then go directly right away when the game opens up and loads and everything. Directly go to the ads and then watch it again and you should get it. That's how I do it. Uh, number two, two gener regeneration effects restored 40% of health instead of 20%. Now it's fixed. So Senjil basically got nerfed. <laughs> Uh, I actually invested into Sengil. Yeah, so he used to restore 40% of health instead of 20%. So that was actually really big. He's, he was a crazy good healer. Uh, number three, fixed bug in which Wonder Lula does twice damage with her second ability. Honestly, I don't even know how people even have Wonder Lula. I don't think she is available in the game yet. So Wonder Lula is right here. It costs 50 stone to, up, to obtain her, to summon her. Click find, you can't find her anywhere. So I don't think she's even in the game yet. So maybe they are preparing for her to to appear in the game next uh, patch uh they fixed some bugs when some players wasn't weren't able to complete the tutorial i never heard of that bug but it's a good thing they're going to do it and minor bug fixes and improvements and then they did some balance changes as well so revel 
Who is Revol? So Revol is part of the Pride faction. So he's getting balance changed. So uh, what was the issue with him? His passive ability, he deals 20%. It was 25% more damage for each stack of bleeding on enemies. A little bit of a nerf, I would say. Uh, Solius is not even, oh yeah, he's gonna be the legendary uh, event that's coming out soon. He heals all allies for 550% of his magic damage. It used to be 600%. So they did uh, balance it. I mean, it's still a pretty strong heal. 550% is very big. It's only 50% uh, decrease. So he should still be a very, very good heal healer. Uh, we're gonna talk about the new hero, Cruel. So let's look at her abilities, her kit. Healing Darkness is her first ability. Deals 255% of magic damage to an enemy. If an enemy is a demon, she heals herself and a summoned reflection. So I guess a summoned reflection is a copy of her for 70% for of the damage dealt. Uh, I Am the Knight is her second ability. Deals 330% magic damage to an enemy. If an enemy is a defender, so like a tank, uh, he gains invisibility for two turns. So it just basically null nullifies a taunt, uh, which is amazing. And then she calls her uh, reflection to assist if she is alive, for, for, for reflections alive. Create reflection. So this is what reflection is. She summons a reflection of her target enemy hero with 70% health and shields, 70% damage and 75% speed. So it is kind of uh, a nerfed version, but it still looks like a powerful ability. And she can only summon one reflection at a time because that would make her too OP if she can summon more. Bound by shadows of her passive ability at the end of Corel's turn. If there are three defenders on the battlefield, all allied defenders get tenacity increase for one turn. So she basically is for every single roll, she gives a different buff. So tanks is a tenacity increase. Healers gain cheat death, which is pretty powerful because healers are squishy and they can just heal themselves up. Tacticians, only if there are three, sorry, per uh, team. So if there are three tacticians, they gain uh, haste for one turn. If there are three warriors, they gain counterattack for one turn. There's three rangers, they gain accuracy for one turn. And if there's three mages, they all, all of them gain invisibility for one turn. So yeah, she looks like a very, very good champion. So I'm, I'm good looking forward to unlocking um, Cruel. Facts about the tournament, this new game mode available for players level 30 plus. Tournaments will be active all the time. Number of attempts equals five. So you get five tickets and one ticket is restored every 30 minutes uh, from what they told me and what it says here. And then additional tickets can be purchased. Uh, pur purchase price does not change. 100 track coins for five tickets. Uh, we told them that they should put a limit on how many uh, additional tickets that can be purchased. So hopefully they do that, but it doesn't look like it from here. Tournament duration is two or three days for now. Number two, only live players will participate in tournaments. So no bots, I'm guessing. Players get points for victories in battle and lose it on defeat and no battle timers at all. So good news, there's no battle timers. And then in the tournament, players will receive a reward depending on their place. And to participate in the tournament, players need to build a team that meets their requirements. And they go through a qualifying battle with a team mirror, so mirror version of the team. And the qualification ends one day before the end of the tournament. After that, you won't be able to join it. So what they mean is that you need to build a team that meets the requirements. So what they told us is that they're going to have, let's say you need Rantha and at least one goblin, and then you can fill the team with somebody else, things like that. Um, and then they're going to have a chest on the left hand side that you can use, that you can choose to open if you want, if you don't have the champions. They have specific champions needed for the tournament. Uh, all tournaments are divided into several tier groups. So players at level 30 won't fight against level 80 players. It's five different level tiers for now. So people who are uh, similar in level are going to be bunched up together, which is in some tournaments you will get hero stones of heroes that are currently not in the game. First one is in two is in the next two weeks. So I'm guessing maybe Wander Lula champions like that. Yeah, so that's it for the update on dragon champions. I'm going to be working while well, I am working on a do's and don'ts for Dragon Champions for new players or even for people who do not know what to do in Dragon Champions. Yeah, stay tuned for that. And if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you guys drop a like. It helps me out a lot. And if you guys are new to the channel and you like what you see, then hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you guys want, you guys can hit the bell icon to enable notifications. And yeah, that's a way to get see all today all my latest content. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.